Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I'm here to give you messages from your person. This is for the zodiac sign of Scorpio for the month of July, year 2021. If you are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, or subscriber, I'm sending you so much joy, love, and light, and blessings always. Welcome, welcome back. And if you're a cross watcher, please do come in. I'm sending you love and light and blessings and joy and all that good happiness and good stuff as well for you and for all of us. Thank you so much for joining. You guys are so awesome. Please know that I appreciate you so much, Scorpios. You guys came in second with the most views when I actually used this deck the first time. You guys really seem to love this deck. I enjoy using it. It's really fun. This is the Mystic Bees official, unofficial messages deck. And you guys truly do support me when I use this deck a lot. So Scorpios, it really don't even matter the deck. You guys support me all the time. You guys are so awesome. And since you guys did come in second, with the most views when I used this um, deck for the last reading I used, you guys came in second. So you guys get five plus extra messages from the card. So we are just going to jump right in. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. All the information that you need about me is below. And one more thing, you guys, I am adding on an extended to this reading. Get in where you fit in. That extended will have information about what's to happen next um, in this connection what's next in love with or without this person and some lessons in love that you can use for life. So that will be in the extended. So get in where you fit in, but let's begin your reading. Please spirit come through as you always do. And I'm going to start with the bottom of the deck. So I've already pulled out 10 messages, Scorpio, and then the overall energy here. It says I communicate with you through music. So there's somebody you may have um, listened to music in the car with, or just, this was a vibe. This was a part of like you guys hanging out or dating. I feel like this is a love interest. This was a love connection and it feels really strong. I'm definitely getting soulmate or major soul tie. It also could be a twin flame energy here, but it's major energy. It could be an ex, <clears throat> excuse me, but you guys communicate through music. So maybe somebody's a musician or both of you just really love music or maybe they wrote a song or created like a playlist for you or something like that. You know, take the messages, how it resonates for you guys, but never ever force, flip it, flop it, take yourself, you know, and search yourself where you fit. But that's one way that they communicate with you or they listen to music a lot and your name may come up in a song or you always come to mind for them. Or there's a song that you guys share that they listen to constantly because they know it was your favorite or something that you liked a lot. Okay. So especially when they didn't know what to say to you, sometimes it's like the music spoke words for you guys and when I um, just pulled out your messages, the song We Belong Together by Mariah Carey, thank you, Spirit, for um, reminding me that, that came to mind. And also, Nobody Does It Better by um, Nate Dogg, rest in peace, Nate Dogg. So you guys may want to look into those songs, especially the Mariah Carey one. That one came out first, We Belong Together. And um, I'll let you know which specific card or cards that that song came up for. So... Let's begin. So, yeah, they definitely communicate with you through music somehow. Some of them may even be writing you a song or they play guitar or some type of instrument or they could be sending you a song or something like that. Or every time you turn around, there's a song on the radio and their name is in it, something like that. But there's a major music connection here for it to be at the bottom of the deck. At this time, they really feel like your reject your rejection would destroy them. And that's exactly what this card says. So. I do feel like they're going to reach out or at least try. Um, it could be as simple as a phone call or a text. I feel like a lot of them want to text. This person, I feel like, doesn't communicate well. They don't always know what to say. In fact, most of the time, they don't know what to say or do. This is like a lost little puppy. And so I'm here like this person, they have cute ways about them because they don't fully express. This person is really scared of getting hurt or hurt again. Like they, there's some issue here with pain and rejection for them. Like they may be used to this in life. So you're, you're standing confident is what I'm hearing, Scorpio. You're a confident person. They see that in you. Like you love yourself. You're strong. You know how to clap back when you need to. But this person is, they're not on your level strength wise. They need to focus on their own strengths and enhance them and develop more is what I'm getting. Okay. They do feel like if they were to reach out to you or come to you, even if they brought like a gift, and I feel like that's how they're going to operate. They're going to send a song or a gift or a text or, you know, something to kind of get your attention to kind of smooth over the waters. 
but you're not a fool and I feel like they do owe you an apology and they're going to have to talk to you. They're going to have to speak life back into you because if not, you're going to dust them off. I'm here like a little flea or something. You're going to just dust them off like, uh, uh, get off me. Don't talk to me because what I'm seeing here is they did something that truly like annoyed you. Like one thing Scorpios don't like to be is annoyed. I know that you guys don't like to be annoyed. So nobody does, but I'm just saying like this person can rub you the wrong way. But at the same time, I keep hearing there's really cute things about them that you guys like too. But they just don't want to be rejected. Like if they were to take things to the next level or if they were going to try again or right a wrong with you, like they don't want you to be like, no, talk to the hand, get out my face and bring it back to the 90s and just, you know, snap all up in your face and be done and close the door and lock it. So this person may really love 90s music too. Music just, it keeps flowing throughout your, um, your reading or the 90s style of clothes or something like that. But anyways, um, they are truly scared of your rejection. It says, I traded in gold for Chuck E. Cheese coins. This is one of the funniest cards in this deck. But this is true. You know, like when people throw away somebody or something and it's really a treasure, you get rid of a ring and find out that's an heirloom or something like that. It's like, sometimes it truly is the right saying. When people say, you know, somebody's trash or somebody else's treasure, you are a treasure to this person. But they didn't realize what they had because they didn't feel like they could keep you. Like, this person may have a lot of self-esteem issues or... You know, they definitely do have low self-esteem. They need to build their self-esteem and self-worth is what I'm getting. So they went to people on a low vibration, people who reminded them of them, something that they can handle better. That's something that they can cope with better. It's what they were used to. It's what they could deal with. But they feel like the people that they turned to and talked to and gave their time and money and energy to, it's like those people just took them for granted. And um, a lot of them ran off, left them high and dry and stuck. And a lot of these people feel foolish or stupid for um, turning away from you, turning their back on you and just not making you a priority. You know, they had a lot of options, but this person wasn't serious about like, oh man, this person wasn't serious about much in life. It says my pride and ego got the best of me. Yeah, this person, <sighs> there's some areas and it could even be music where they think they are phenomenal that they're the best at, even though it probably needs a lot of fine tuning and work. There's something about this person. There's times where they feel like you're theirs or if they want something, they can have it. But at the same time, they won't really ask for it. They're not going to pursue you like they should. This is what held them back. Feeling like just because you're so strong that you would do all the work. No, I'm getting a lot of them needed to step up their game and step up their leadership skills by not playing games. They need to level up emotionally with their communication and spiritually. You need this person to boss up more and to stop thinking that um, they can do, I'm hearing less than the bare minimum. Like there's something about them where they feel like you wouldn't let go of the connection or you wouldn't leave. And then they realize um, you did. Sometimes people feel like they can always come back or they can weasel their way in and they're going to try. They're going to try to come back in. I feel like for this person, it was mostly pride. For some of them, it was ego, but mostly pride because I'm getting low self-esteem. So this person had a false mask on. They had a facade. You know, they put on this exterior like, oh, I'm tough and I'm strong. And then when it comes down to it, like they're really weak. You know, they need to build themselves up more inside and focus on their inner strength. It says you're... The last person on my mind before I fall asleep. This is, once again, this person have very cute ways about them. It seems like to me, they think about you often. They like to dream you into life or they want to think about you and look at your pictures, and watch you on social media. They like to scroll through their phone and look at old memories of you guys together or even separately, but pictures of you. They'll go on your social media just to see what you're up to, what you're doing, who you're around, if you're happy, if you look happy. If you, you know, they want to see you. And they always think about you before they go to bed because they're hoping to dream you. They're trying to dream you back into life or connect with you through the dream world. And see, next to that card is I visit you in your dream. So if you've dreamed this person, it's because you're energetically connected and because they think about you constantly in various ways, romantic ways, what they want to say to you, if they had like the courage to say it what they like to do to you romantically, what the, the things that they want to ask you about that they hold back, things they want to tell you that they don't share. So 
that's where their mind goes. So they do visit you in your dreams. Some of you have blocked that though. So you may see them, but then a lot of you are like trying to get them off your mind or you feel pulled back in. Even to watch this message now, you're pulled back in because this person is thinking of you that much. Like it's a daily thing. It's all day. It's every day, especially when they get in bed. It's like before they go to sleep because they're hoping that they can dream you and have some kind of dream about you so that they can spend time with you. This person definitely miss you is what I'm hearing. What I said to you still haunts me. Some of them said the wrong thing. Like they dismissed something that you felt was important or you may have confronted them about something or asked them about how they felt about you or the connection. And I'm hearing dismiss it. So they dismissed the whole connection because they didn't appreciate you. Mm. I'm here now. They want that old thing back. They want you back. They want like, they miss a feel of you, the energy around you. Like there was definitely a vibe here is what I'm getting. This person had a lot of communication issues though. It's like sometimes things would come out that they didn't mean to say it that way, but it came out that way. It came out harsh or disrespectful because they didn't want to tell you the truth because they felt like you would reject them or make them feel stupid or sad or low. But they need to think about what they say before they say it. I feel like sometimes this person don't know what to say. So what does come out is real reckless and real disrespectful. And it's like, what? What did you just say? And it's like, they feel sorry later, but that happens one too many times. Like this person have a lot of issues and they also have money issues. You guys may want to watch the Leo reading because this card definitely came out. I'm seeing a few cards here that came out during the Leo reading. There's a lot of cards in this stack. Um, shout out to Mystic B once again. But um, money issues. So it's interesting because this is right below. I traded in gold for Chuck E. Cheese coin. Like a lot of them tried to buy friendships. Some of them are buying porn or like certain. I'm not going to mention a certain website, but um, there's websites where people can go and look at other men and women in a more like a provocative way. You know, they're in very scantily clad clothing, if that at all, meaning barely their clothes or, you know, some risque pictures. And that's, you know, their personal business. But some of them are spending so much money, they're going broke. That's what I'm hearing. So some of them are just, they're going broke making foolish decisions or trying to buy friendships, buying people. A lot of them need help with money management. They need to learn how to make better choices with their coins and their money. Sometimes they let people spend their money for them, meaning people can talk them into or entice them with the things that they want. Could be video games, anything, but they will live beyond their means sometimes. It's nothing wrong with spoiling yourself or giving yourself some luxury and some leisure time here and there. But remember, your needs should come before your wants. You need to balance what that is and how that goes. You can't just go get everything you want and then wonder why you don't have food in the fridge or why you don't have gas or you didn't pay a certain bill and then you're suffering in a certain area. So this person needs a lot of help with their decision making. And they look at you like you're so strong and you are so like mindful of the choices that you make. Once you make them, you stick with it, but they make decisions kind of recklessly at times. And then they go back and be like, Oh, I should have not done that. Or I should have not have spent that. Then it's too late. Some of them are definitely healing. I did see this again in the Leo reading. So this is a good thing. Some of them are healing from wounding their own hearts by being mean towards you and very cold is what I'm getting. Like they rejected you, but now it's like they don't want you to reject them. It's like, what do you expect? It's like people never think about their karma while they are serving it to others. People need to learn that it's going to come back to you one way or another. They're trying to heal their own wounds. They have a lot of wounds here. They really do from various places. This person needed some time by themselves. They may not have wanted it, but they needed it. So those of you who stop talking to this person, you stop communicating with this person, you stop texting this person. It's a good thing that you did. That's always a part of somebody else's growth and yours to see what, what you will do without this person. And they needed to see what they could do without you. They need to heal. You know, part of you guys force them to heal and to look at their situation and look like how they're reckless with their money. Some of them are overly sexual. Some of them have pride and ego issues. Like this person has a lot of problems, like issues at this point. 
But like I said, they have a part of their heart that's really sweet too. Like they have a cute part about them. They want you to know that they love you. It says, if you only knew how much I love you. Some of them are so stubborn. They won't say it. They just refuse to say it because they don't think you're going to say it back to them. Like you might be like, oh no, no, definitely not. They're like afraid of what you are going to say and how you're going to respond to them if they were to say they love you. But I feel like a lot of them really do. But they're so childish. They treat you like a like elementary crush. Like, okay, they'd rather punch you. And I don't mean that like adults. I'm talking like kids, which they shouldn't be doing that either. But I mean like they rather, you know, pull your hair and do silly stuff like that other than tell you. This person's childish like that. Okay. Now, I don't tolerate abuse of any kind, and I certainly don't recommend anybody does. So I don't mean abuse, you know, to, to make it look like it's a lighter, lighten, you know, nothing's light about abuse. But I, what I'm saying is this person's childlike like that. Like maybe they're too playful or maybe they go too far when people ask them to stop. Like this person can be very annoying. They get on your nerves. Okay. All the time. They're very smart though, um, but they're like a bugaboo. But that's the one of the ways that they show love is is their um it's their love language. Like I get such a childlike like um demeanor here. It's like they may take your stuff that they know that you really like. Like say you like to paint. They may hide your paintbrushes or I don't know. They do stuff like that to get on your nerves so that they can get a reaction out of you so that you could talk to them and so that they could see the different ways that you look or how you raise your eyebrows. I mean, this person is so childish. Um, it's like, you know how to turn this person off. Like when you get tired of this person, you tune them out. Some of you are like real done with them because they have too many issues to where it's not even fun being around them anymore. But like, you know, the sweet side of them too. Like, you know, their heart here's childhood trauma. Yeah. This person has a lot of issues. As I've said, I see money issues, childhood trauma that they haven't fully worked through. Like this person could have been bullied by one of their siblings as a kid or, Maybe they were overweight as a kid and they got really bullied. They were taunted and mistreated for being overweight back in the day. Some of them may still have self-esteem. This person has a lot of self-esteem issues is what I'm seeing here. And they get bored really easy is what I'm hearing. They get bored easy. They have to always keep their mind going or do various things just to keep themselves, you know, busy. But they definitely have some childhood trauma. They may have seen too much. I hope they didn't see their parents fighting because I'm seeing like somebody saw something and it affected them to this day. Like it'll always affect them until like they actually talk to a therapist or a counselor or something like that. Like they, this person needs to reach out for more help. And I always say this and I always will. There is no shame in getting the help that you need. We all have things that we have to overcome. And various obstacles, various difficult situations that we have to overcome. We have to be open to it, to getting the help that we need. We have to ask for it and go to it. A lot of us can heal ourselves. And I feel like this person is trying to do that. But I do feel like with all the issues that they have here, they could benefit greatly from a life coach, you know, maybe a financial expert or relationship expert or something like that is what I'm getting. Even if it's just a few sessions, I think a few sessions would go a long way with this person or they need to like have a chat, have a conversation with their own parents about how they felt about certain things. So actually release it and get more clarity and understanding about the situation. You know, you can only do so much, but you know what? You inspire this person is what I'm getting. They're inspired by you because of your strength. Scorpio, you're very strong. Okay. Let's get some more messages for the zodiac sign of Scorpio. Let's get your five plus extra messages. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see. Yeah, see, I have abused here. Um, let me get two more. One more spirit, one more. Or whatever you feel is best. So, yeah, there it is. Okay. So, at the bottom of the deck, you have, I feel guilty. Yeah, this person feels guilty for the way that they treated you, for pushing you away, for annoying you when they knew you were bothered and bugged by how they treated you. It's like they didn't stop. 
It's almost like, I don't want to say they don't have control, but it's like once they get going, they keep going. You know, they have so many issues. This person has a lot. Goodness. They have a lot. I think some of you even know this. You you already feel sorry for this person. But you don't feel like it's a this person is a bad person. You just feel like this person is like kind of tortured. Like it's like a tortured soul that needs like healing and a cleansing, like a spiritual cleanse. Yeah, they definitely feel guilty for how they mishandled your communication. They mishandled how they treated you. Because they see you as somebody that they love and actually do want around and in their life. They really do. Okay. So, I feel like they will apologize, but it may not be the way you expect. I feel like they're going to use a gift first, or they're going to... It'll be a small gesture. This card says, staying away from you is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Yeah, and it's because you walked away. I feel like for most of you, you guys walked away. Even if they pushed you away by not returning your calls, even if they push you away with all their annoying habits... Ultimately, like, you had to cut that cord. And I feel like you guys did. So that's been hard for them. See, here's Jeepers Creepers. They did something that creeped you out. Or they said something that you felt like um, that wasn't cool. It was too far. Or it was so disrespectful. Like, your family wouldn't have liked that. I'm hearing they may have said even something that was even racist or borderline racist. Or something like that where you're like, I didn't know you were like that. Like, this person loves to test boundaries. And you are definitely the wrong person to test, Scorpio. You're not having it. And you did correct this person. And you know what? A lot of times this person will apologize once they are corrected. But it's like they know better. They already knew better. But they like to try people to see how people would respond. And they know that you're so sharp. You're sharp. Okay? They try to turn everything into a joke. When they're made to look like a fool, but you're like, no, that's that wasn't a fu that wasn't funny and it wasn't a joke and you knew better. You'll call this person out. They know it. This person has been abused. And I see, I was wondering about that. I was like, I hope they didn't see abuse. Some of them have been abused. Maybe their parents went overboard with spankings or they were abused. Some of them, it could be sexually, God forbid. No child deserves abuse. No person deserves abuse. And this could even be verbal abuse. Abuse is wrong no matter how you slice it. It's never okay. And oftentimes, at some point, most people who was abused, at some point, they may try against somebody else. This is why people have to heal and have to vent and let out what happened to them. That's why so many people write books and you're like, man, I can't believe this happened to him. Or dang, I can't believe this happened to her. When you think about all your celebrities, some of your favorite celebrities that we see all the time and we think about their stories, most of them, unfortunately, have abuse in there of some kind. And it's just disgusting and it's wrong. And this cycle has to end. It ends when we address it and change our ways and stop it. So that our children and the next children, Scorpio, won't have to deal with this. This person needs to like look at themselves. They need to look at their life. And they need to stop hurting and heal completely. So that they can be the best parents, the best spouses, the best self. They need to live in their higher self. This person would greatly benefit from some outside help. Some of them could even be dealing with mental issues because of the abuse. Maybe they don't know how to love or how to be affectionate because what they saw was parents hitting each other, slapping each other, you know, God forbid. But unfortunately, this happens in probably like almost every neighborhood, every city. Unfortunately, this happens. People have to learn, keep your hands to yourself. Use loving and respectful words. If you can't communicate like an adult and come up with positive solutions to problems and problem solve the right way, that's where you need to go get help. And honest to God, I really believe this needs to be taught at home, but I honest to God believe this needs to be taught at school too. Young men and women need to learn how to date. They need to know how to respect each other because we don't know what people are taught at home, but it comes out eventually either in childhood or adulthood. So we need to stop toxic cycles. So please encourage your significant other, I'm hearing spouse, your friend, your situationship, whoever this person is, it could even be you. Take it how it resonates for your situation. Whatever you've been through, you are above it. You can overcome it and so can the people around you. 
it's going to come out until you come up with solutions to break the cycle and better yourself for the future, for the future you and for your own kids and your own sanity and your own happiness because everybody deserves to be happy and everybody deserves to be safe. Life will be what we make it. Your person wants you to know our union will happen this lifetime. They feel like you will get back together. They're putting it in God's hands, the angels, the spiritual team's hands. They're putting it into the universe. However you guys want to say it. But they believe in this union. And you know, all things are possible. But you guys do, you know, you have your own brains. You have your own free will, your own free choice. You get to decide if you even want this person around. You will co-create with spirit. It will be up to you. Because one person can't just decide this. It has to be a yes on, you know, both parts on the couple. But your person is admitting this is some messy stuff. Okay, this situation is not clean cut. It's not clear. It's very messy. They need to work on themselves before they can come into a, you know, a good union with you. Nothing will ever be perfect, but it can be solid. It can be great. It can be awesome. It can be really good. But they have a lot of things to clear up here. And you know that this person has a lot of issues, but you do feel like they have a good soul underneath it all. But that's what they have to bring out. That's what they have to show. And that's living in your higher self when you're living as the best person you could be. You're standing in your truth. This person would really greatly benefit from writing their story in a book, even having a movie made or a documentary or their own blog, their own channel about their experiences. Even if they talked in third person or wrote a storyline and used other names and other characters. And just kind of vicariously told their story through them. That, that would be interesting and a way for them to vent. I'm hearing they're tired of feeling guilty about their mistakes. And they're tired of making so many mistakes. Once they get to a point of maturity, they will be a better person. They don't need to tackle everything at once. Just one thing at a time. But to have a plan and to make sure they go step by step. They can do it. And I feel like a lot of them are going to try. It's just, will you be there when they get to a point where they're actually strong enough and courageous enough to ask you on that date or to ask you out or to want to go to the next level? Some of you will have been have moved on. Some of you will be married by then. Some of you could be single and you may want to try. Some of you could be single and may not want to try again. But I feel like this person is going to want to try again with this connection because there is love here. And I feel like you guys both love each other. A lot of you feel like this person love you, Scorpio, but you truly don't know how much because they didn't show you. Words are one thing, but actions speak louder than words. We all know that. People always have to show up. They have to improve. And you're big on what you see is what you get. You're big on like who people truly are. Like you learn people, you study people, Scorpio, you're great at pinpointing out people and their characteristics like you're great at that and they know that they want to get to that level they have to stay in their own lane and just focus on what truly makes them happy and overcome their issues because they let them get out of control is that i'm here and that's why they have so many they'll keep stacking on more and more they just have to start with making better decisions definitely go to god and spirit and just start leveling up Start tackling their problems. Unpack. All right. Scorpio, this has been your reading from your person for the month of July, your 2021. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope the messages in this reading resonate with all of you or as many of you as possible. Thank you so much for being so awesome all the time, Scorpio. You guys highly support me. And I'm not just saying that because all signs support me, but you guys highly support me. So God bless each and every one of you. I appreciate all of you. This is a messy situation, but it can be resolved. It can be worked out. With God, all things are possible. Pray for your person. Send them encouragement, love, and light. Use your own discernment and always do what you feel is best. For those of you who are interested, I do have an extended reading. It will be 
the link will be posted in the description box below at the top. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sending you infinite joy, blessings, and abundance. Love and light always. Thank you so much again from the bottom, top, and middle of my heart. Bye, Scorpio.